Hello everyone, Dr. Van Merkel here. It is July 9th and we've got another great case here for you to review and for you to think about. And this is a very good situation for you guys to think about lab work and patient presentation. We have an 11 year old female and she's been treated by medical doctors for several weeks or a few months now for abdominal pain. Uh, severe abdominal pain and uh, she's gone to other natural health um, experts and they've seen uh, they've tried her on gluten-free diet they've tried her on all kinds of probiotics and things like that and nothing has really helped uh, she's went on some uh, other brief medical drugs to try and relieve the problem but overall her symptoms are not abating in fact they seem to be a little bit worse so they came to an SBN member and the test results came in as you can see here on this form, and they uh, wanted some help, what to do. The, uh, the doctor was concerned, and as soon as we saw these test results, we ordered one more test. Now that extra test is, is added here, but the doctor wondered what was going on, and when we looked at the abdominal pain and her test results, we immediately ordered a C-peptide. Now, a C-peptide is here, but that was added a couple days after these test results were in. And what clued us in? Well, first of all, the A1C is not high, so you wouldn't think diabetes there, but we've got an 11-year-old girl with very high ketones. Very high ketones. Now, obviously, the body is burning fat. The body is not able to burn glucose because there is some impairment, some mechanism problem which would be common in juvenile onset diabetes. And so we saw these numbers. A C-peptide was immediately recommended, and we see that it is extremely very low. It should be at least 1.1 to 5, and generally they'll start people on insulin very quickly. But this lady wasn't, this girl wasn't on insulin yet because this was just newly found. And... Uh, um, at our request, when this doctor sent in a ticket, the C-peptide, Tracy recommended the doctor order a C-peptide immediately and very low. So this girl is heading right into type 1 diabetes. I believe it can be reversed at this point with a proper diet and the proper supplements. Obviously, this girl is, she drinks plenty of water, typical for diabetes. And uh, she also craves sugar and chocolate. Well, who doesn't? And what kid doesn't crave that? But she is headed towards some serious problems. Now, let's look at the labs in more detail and see if we can't explain why these things are occurring. And uh, um, well, first of all, there's the ketones. That should be a clue. Now, if you're in the weight loss and part of your business is weight loss, you want to see ketones in the urine of an overweight person. And generally, ketones in the 1 to 2 range would generally be okay. One, generally, 1 1.5 to 2 range would be okay for somebody uh, who's trying to lose weight. They're in ketosis. But you wouldn't expect to see ketones in a, in a young child. And in, in definitely an 11-year-old, you wouldn't expect to see any ketones. But especially a 3. That is why that dipstick urine test is so extremely important. Because... What would this, a lifetime of type 1 diabetes, what, what's the expense on that? And the life expectancy for a child developing type 1 diabetes. So moving on, we see that the um, red blood count, hemoglobin, and are very high. Now, why would that be? Because she's drinking a lot of water, but she's actually net dehydrated. And uh, these numbers are common in type 1 diabetes in early stages. Platelets are elevated, some inflammatory processes going on, uh, low chloride, um, uh, low chloride uh, would be expected, um, high calcium not really significant because she's uh, maybe growing, uh, the high potassium would be uh, possible with diabetes. But this is why you've got to do the comprehensive blood test and the dipstick urine on everyone. Now we're waiting on the hair test and other results like that, but abdominal pain. I know people right now are all gluten crazy and food allergy crazy. And they're all thinking, oh, it's gluten, uh, change your diet. 
you know, get off gluten. Well, obviously changing your diet is the right thing to do, but she needs more immediate care than just some probiotics and a gluten-free diet. Um, she needs immediate attention on this, and I believe it can be reversed at this time. And we're expecting to get this. Uh, this was on this test was on 625 2019, and we're expecting to see an update on the labs within uh, uh, just a few days. So when we get those back, we'll uh, report that too. But be aware that kids today, everybody. Um, diabetes is the fast growing disease in every group and juvenile diabetes is right there um, at, at an accelerated rate so do the testing on everyone and that's why when I say do a dipstick urine once a month on all your patients really um, well, no, they don't need it. everybody doesn't need it once a month but you know what I mean to get that test done at least every six months everyone should have a dipstick urine because diabetes is so rampant right now so there you are. Hope this helps. Be a great doctor. Do what you need to do. And if you're a patient out there, you come across this, you need, you need some help with your health problems, we'd be happy to help you. Contact Science Based Nutrition and uh, we'll find a doctor in your area. I'm Dr. Merkel. I'm the developer and founder of Science Based Nutrition and I've trained doctors all around the country. So be healthy, everyone. But the only way to know is to get tested. Have a great day. I'm Dr. Merkel.